Today, we're going to bring an external docking station for drives, all right? This is for SATA drives only, all right? So we're going to take a look at it and see how it works. Now, they give you a power adapter. They give you a 3.2 USB Type-C to Type-A, but look at this. Transforms into Type-C to Type-C. So it, it's a really good option. Now, today we're going to test out the transfer rate from a drive. Now, what you can do this, you can actually clone drives. If you have one A and B, you could clone them easily. So very simple to use, easy to set up, and you really don't have to do anything but plug and play. On the back of it, this is how you start. It tells you right here if you want a PC only, if you want to read the drives, or if you want to clone it. All right, and it's power on, simple, it starts blinking. We are gonna drive, we are gonna clone the drive and see how well it works. You guys can see the type C plugs in here, power here, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and test it out and see how it works. All right, we're able to see it now. We set it up as D drive, so let's go ahead and transfer the file over to the D drive. So the D drive, and we're just gonna drag it in there to see how fast it works. All right, let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna take us about seven minutes and 30 seconds to transfer the file over. We're past poly seven minutes. It's more than 5%. So we're gonna see a quick transfer rate. Right now we're transferring speeds are 39.4 megabytes per second. All right, now that we're done with the actual drive, I'm gonna show you something that you guys need to know. Now, right now we're transferring in here, but you could, when you're in PC, you can have the drives, two drives in here, it doesn't matter. So when you're gonna clone a drive, you gotta make sure you put it on the first drive here where it says source, and then target will be the actual clone of the drive that you're gonna have. So, all right, we're gonna put the source on the front, the secondary drive, which is a hard drive, and we're gonna put that one in the actual target. Now, once you set up the clone and you have your source, and you have your target, you hold on the start button for five seconds until it beeps, let it go, and then you'll see the light indication saying the transferring of the files are coming through, all right? Once it beeps three times, your clone should be set. So if you guys can see, we got it full already. So it means it's fully transferred. We'll transfer this one over to this one now. So this one's the source, this is the target. It tells you on the side of it, we're going to go ahead and plug it in. All right, there's the drives now. One identical as the other, and they copy exactly the same size and everything. Look at an unallocated um, drive. So we could use this and cluster it in into the actual same drive right now. But right now, we're just going to see if we could read. Swap the drive out, all right? So it could be the same letter because it's identical. This is the D drive, and that's going to take the same as a clone. So I can't have two of the same drives together. So we're going to plug it in together by itself. And we're going to see if it kicks in here. So now and we put it back in the source. We took the original one out, which has a 17 gigs of used space. And now we're going to use this one and see if it kicks in. It's kicking in. There it is. Exact same size. Let's take a look. Properties. Yes, there it is. 17 gigs. Now, this one thinks it's a two terabyte. So what you want to do is go computer management and change the settings so you could use the rest of the source if you're going to clone your computer, right? Because right now you could partition it with the two terabytes, but I suggest if you want to merge them out together, you can do that. So if you ever have any problems, it's be much easier to clean. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Swap the drive out, all right? So it could be the same letter because it's identical. This is the D drive, and that's going to take the same as a clone. So I can't have two of the same drives together. So we're going to plug it in together by itself. And we're going to see if it kicks in here. So now and we put it back in the source. We took the original one out, which has a 17 gigs of use space. And now we're going to use this one and see if it kicks in. It's kicking in. There it is. Exact same size. Let's take a look. Properties. Yes, there it is. 17 gigs. Now, this one thinks it's a two terabyte. So what you want to do is go computer management and change the settings. Whenever you have this problem and it doesn't read the whole entire thing, you could always extend the volume, right? And you need to know exactly how many megabytes is the complete or gigabytes is complete. So just make sure you're aware of the number in order to extend the actual drive. When you say next, 
it's going to ask you what volume do you want to set up so you can always select this one and move it to the right source right right now it's completed as you can see we're going to extend it available none select it and then we're going to go say next finish and it's going to extend the entire drive it took about two minutes but there we have it the entire 14 terabytes as one so using pc i went back and i did the changes made it simple extended it didn't have to do that much work so from a two terabyte to a 14 terabyte you can clone it very simple easy to use this machine i hope you guys enjoy the video 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and i hope you hit the like and subscribe